y'all doing this morning? This morning we're going to start out, we're going to make a good chicken pot pie in a casserole dish here. Uh, it's a simple recipe, it really is, and it's, it makes a lot of food, you know, for the family, for the, I'm making this for the baby, she'll eat on this throughout the week and everything. I've got a, a uh, what do you call this, 9x13 casserole dish, or Pyrex, butter this up, and I'm going to get some of these uh, Pillsbury, these are crescent roll recipe creations, it's basically just a big flat sheet of crescent roll. Let me unroll these real quick. Okay, so what I did is I unrolled this thing here. And I'll tell you what, it's not the easiest thing in the world to get out of the package. So I unrolled it, and I'm going to kind of try to stretch it a little bit to pull up the sides here of this pan. Yeah, so I just make up a little holes in it. Just basically make a bottom there for the, for the crust. Everything, let's pull that up to sides a little bit. Now I may open this other can of it to get a little bit of strips to go around the edges. I didn't have to open the other can yet, so what we'll do, I'm going to set this in the oven on 375 and just let this kind of bake a little bit uh, while we're doing the rest of the mix, okay? Let's start putting the pie together, the filling. First off, I've got about four nice chicken breasts that I baked last night in the oven. Oh yeah, good amount of chicken there. Then we'll get some, some seasoning. This is a new Cajun seasoning I found. All this stuff is great. This right here, it's uh, I believe it's pronounced Bazils. This stuff is awesome. This is Cajun certified. Uh, I mean, this is some really good stuff. I've tried. It's it's like a, if you try other Cajun seasonings, you know, like Tony's or Slap Your Mama's stuff. This has got, to me, it's a little bit less salt and it's got a lot more flavor. It's got a little bit of lemon flavor in it, too, so it works really well with chicken. Uh, this is some great stuff. I'm going to put a, since I put some on the, uh, on the chicken while I was cooking, I'm going to add about a, probably a couple teaspoons. Let me get it open. So with that chicken there, that's just a, about a teaspoon of this here, which, I, like I said, I've already put some on the, on the chicken itself. I'm cooking about two teaspoons. Okay, now I'm going to come in with um, a little bit of curry powder. I think curry powder works really well with, um, with chicken pot pie, with yellow curry powder here. Go with about a teaspoon of it. So we get some nice flavor. Now, let me stir that around. Turn the spatula over here. Alright, let's just stir that and get, open up all those seasonings in there. Just get everything nice. I got that going. I'm going to add a can of veg oil. This veg oil is great stuff. I wouldn't use no frozen vegetables, nothing. Use this veg oil here. It's made by Allen's Foods. It's got just the vegetables you need in here, not all the preservatives and everything. This is perfect stuff for chicken pot pie. You got carrots, potatoes, celery, sweet peas, uh, lima beans, all kind of good little stuff. That, that can of veg all there is really you need to use that good stuff good stuff for the people there at Island Foods so let's stir this in here just for a minute come in with a can of cream of chicken soup concentrate here there we go let's stir that in and now we're going to add a cup of chicken stock We'll stir this in, alright? When I got that stirred in, I like to add about a cup of mayonnaise. The reason we're going to do this is it's going to give it some creaminess, but also the mayonnaise has got eggs in it. And that's going to help to help to stabilize this filling once it cooks, okay? So we'll just stir that in. I'm going to check my pie filling. I've been checking off and on. you got to keep checking about every three or four minutes. Need to cook for about 10 minutes. But you see how it looks? Look here. See how it's just light brown like that? That's just what we're looking for. All right, now what we're going to do, we got this crust here. That's hot. We'll pour the stuffing in here, the filling. Put all that good filling in there. I spread it out semi evenly. Best you can do. Now 
you know, I already opened up another can of that, the uh, croissant, Pillsbury croissant crust stuff. We'll warm those when we go over this with it. And I rolled it out a little bit to make it wider. So let's see how it does. Be a little bit better, hopefully, there. Just kind of pull it and just kind of get it covered over here. It doesn't have to be perfect. So once you get it covered the best you can, like <laughs> I did there, I'm no, you know, big crust maker, so that's, you know, about the best I can do. Pop it back in the oven 375 for about 10, 12 minutes and we'll check it, okay? And there it is, and all this beauty. Right out the oven, took about 15 minutes for the top crust and everything. Nice and bubbly. You want to let this set for about five or ten minutes before you cut into it. Man, that looks wonderful. All right, y'all. It's been a couple minutes. We'll go ahead and cut in this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Juicy crust. Oh, yum. That make sure I get all my, my crust in here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Got that wonderful pie crust on both sides and that filling. That's some good looking stuff, y'all. Let's give it a taste. See what counts here. Oh, yeah. That's a one. I tell you what, only thing I do different, back down a little bit on the stock. Stock, I think I made it a little bit too thin, maybe three quarters of a cup or half a cup instead of one cup. Other than that, A1, y'all gotta try this one.